Kalari Payate, the great martial art practiced from ancient times for self-defense, focuses on the concept of maintaining sound health through different Kalari exercises. Keeping good health throughout one's life is considered important in Kalari, focusing on the idea of health maintenance. Kalari uses a combination of practices such as physical exercises, self-defense practices and treatment methods. These practices together make the art of Kalari Pite a means for leading a good and healthy life. The first weapon we practice in Kalari is Koltari, a long stick which is used for self-defense. By using the stick which measures from the forehead to the toe, people learn both offensive and defensive moves. Here, the focus is on maintaining eye contact with our adversary. This makes one skill in understanding the movements of the stick simply by looking at the eyes of their opponent. The different parts of the human body are interconnected and we study this coordination of the hands, legs and other body parts. The next important weapon we practice with is called the Utta. The Utta is used to simulate unarmed combat. The use of the Utta is linked with the Marma or energy points. The main aspect we learn in practicing Utta is to learn about the 64 marma points in the human body. Kadhara is a sharp dagger like weapon used in Kalari. The practice using Kadhara is also connected with unarmed combat, Virumgai Prayogam, and is considered to be a way of training in hand to hand combat without injuring one's arms. Since we defend against attacks using the Kadhara as an extension of the arm, the likelihood of actually enduring one's arms is greatly reduced. A variety of arm locking techniques are also included in this combat method. Next, we practice using swords and shields, Balum Parijayun. This is considered to be a weapon which is used traditionally in warfare. That age-old techniques of war are applied here. In actual wars, these weapons are used by riders on horseback. In Kalari, we jump high up into the air to simulate elevated combat positions. Another common fighting technique in Kalari is Mara Pidichu Kuntam, in which one of the fighters holds a spear, Kuntam, and the other one wields a sword and shield. This fighting method was also common in ancient warfare and requires considerable practice to master. The cornerstone of all these combat methods is Meitari. It is difficult to perform any of the fight techniques without maintaining proper balance. In Meitari, there are special exercises to build up body balance, flexibility and to learn to get a lock hold on your opponent. These methods are then used in Kalari and these physical practices are also techniques which can be applied in many other areas. Kalari Pait is taught in five sections. These are Meitari or physical exercises, Koltari, Angatari, Varumgai Prayogam and Kalari Marma treatment. The Marma treatment used in Kalari is praised as it has no side effects. The treatment starts only after diagnosing the disease and there is no practice of orally taking medicines. Since treatment only follows proper diagnosis, results are also often much better compared to other forms of treatment. In ancient times, these fighting methods were commonly used and Kalari was considered important. But now, Kalari may seem unnecessary as we don't have personal combat in warfare anymore. 
However, cutlery is not just about the fighting techniques. There are many other aspects of cutlery which are equally important in our modern world. Cutlery has different health maintenance techniques. It is a means of self-defense and a good exercise which make practitioners self-disciplined. Apart from all these, nowadays, cutlery is regaining popularity as a symbol of the culture and tradition of Kerala.